Okay, now let's say that I replace the resistor that was here with the capacitor. Let's see what happens to my circuit's behavior and how my V out is going to look like. Um, so again, my V in is a sinusoidal. And let's say the peak of the sinusoidal is 5 volts. And the negative peak is negative 5 volts, of course. And I want to know that how does my V out look like looks like. And uh, again, I'm assuming that V D on is the same 0.7 volts. Okay. Again, it, this could be any voltage. It's not really making uh, our solution any less general. Uh, it's just easier to talk about numbers rather than parameters when I'm explaining this. So, in the positive half cycle. Things are pretty much, at least in the beginning, things are pretty much the same as before. So uh, before my V in, when my V in is at zero, my V out, and let's say the capacitor is discharged, right? My V out is actually zero as well because, well, the diode is off and uh, the capacitor is discharged, so the volt, there's no voltage across it, so V out is going to be zero. So really, I'm talking about this little range. Now, the moment my V in reaches 0 0.7 volts, which is, so this is 0 0.7. So at this point, the diode turns on. So let's write it here. Diode turns on. And I know what happens after that. I know that the V out is going to actually follow V in. So from here, this point that the diode turns on all the way to the peak of my V in, my V out is going to just follow my V in. So that's why I'm going to have something like this. Okay, so V out is just a shifted version of V in. Now, what will happen right after the peak? Right after the peak, my V in starts to decrease. So this is going to be my V in. But why does V out stays the same and it stays flat? Well, if you think about it, we are here at, at the peak. I'm at 5 volts here. And here I have 4.3 volts. A moment after the peak, this 5 volts become, I don't know, 4.99, right? How about the V out? Well, if it was a resistor, this would have been coming down. Right, because all well, the voltage would have been going to 4.299. The thing is, or sorry, 4.29. Uh, the thing is, I have a capacitor here. And this capacitor, for the voltage of the capacitor to actually reduce, it has to discharge to something, right? I have to discharge the capacitor. So the charges that are accumulated on my capacitor, on the plates of my capacitor, should go somewhere. And looking at this circuit, I can see that they cannot really go anywhere. Why? Well, I have a voltage across this capacitor, and these charges either have to go this way to have a current or this way. Well, the first one to the right is not possible because there's no circuit there, so there's no current there. How about to the left? Well, if I have any current to the left, that means that the diode has a reverse current. That's That cannot happen. Therefore, the voltage of my capacitor cannot go below 4.3 because simply because the capacitor doesn't have any path to discharge. So although my voltage at the V in went from 4, 5 to 4.99 and then it goes again, it decreases more and more 4.9, 4.8, all the way to zero, as you can see here, the voltage at the capacitor remains the same. It remains at 4.3. So it doesn't actually change and it stays the same. So what happens is that my V in continues to decrease at time equal to T2. And then again, goes to negative and then all the way back to positive and nothing happens because again, the capacitor cannot discharge. So nothing happens to my V out. My V out stays the same and stays at 4.3. So this is basically the peak of my V in minus its VD on. As an example, we can say 5 minus 0 0.7, so 4.3 volts. Okay, so when does the V, v uh, when does the, and during all of this time, the diode is off. Why? Because the moment that I went from 5 to 4.99, 9, 
and the the cathode part of the diode is the cathode terminals stays at 4.3 the voltage across the diode becomes less than the 0 0.7 that i want it to be on right therefore my diode turns off so from this point forward diode turns off and it stays off all the way until I reach the peak again once I reach the peak which is 5 volts my diode turns on for a moment again but nothing changes because when the diode turns on my V in is at 5 and my V out is at 4.3 so everything is good so nothing has to change at T5 I'm, I'm talking about T5 right and then the moment after that again my V in reduces from the peak and my V out and the diode turns off and then well you know what happens after that right the V out stays the same forever and ever great so basically when the diode is on which is the first quarter cycle of my sinusoidal of the f first quarter of the first cycle of my sinusoidal I have a circuit like this that that charges up my capacitor to 4.3 volts okay so this charges up the cap to 4.3 volts which is v peak minus vd on okay and after that when the diode is off i just have a simple capacitor like this so this is when the diode is off i have a simple capacitor that is just sitting by itself it cannot discharge it doesn't have any discharge path to ground therefore it's just basically the charges remain there because there's no current flowing through the capacitor so it's just going to hold on to the voltage that is across it okay so as simple as this we made an ac to dc converter so i had a i had an ac signal with a sinusoidal voltage with a peak of 5 volts and i could get a 4.3 volts uh, DC signal out of it because any at it, it basically except for the first quarter of the first cycle after that after that point I have a perfect DC volt and it, it's not going to go up or down or anything uh, for that matter um, in the next slide we're going to see that things are not as amazing as we just described here because we're not going to have this capacitor just by itself and we're going to see why right but for now, this is a perfect diode capacitor circuit that gives me a, uh, basically a constant DC voltage at the output. So I, we just made uh, a simple AC to DC converter.